Welcome everyone to another Saturday session and the third instalment of the Kerbal Space Programme. Now, we've been trying to get to orbit and so far we have failed. Again, thank you everyone for the pointers. The key today though is to get more money and more science points. And I'm not really sure how to do that. We'll get, we'll get mm -hmm. rid of that one. Mm -hmm and gather scientific data. I, I think I know how to do this. I'm not 100% sure. We're back to the vehicle assembly building. Um, our last was the Flat Destroyer 7, which almost got, got us there. So, the Flat Destroyer 8 is born. No, we don't want the chute to be with that stage, do we? Oh no, hang on, we don't want we want the chute to be on its own, don't we? Oh dear, this is this is annoying. Um, also, I want these little chutes on the side, and we want some aerodynamics as well. The Flat Destroyer Eight is looking good. Flat Destroyer Eight, there she is, crewed by Dudvis. Good old Dudvis, still alive. Go to launch. And it's, it's not too heavy. It's not too heavy. This could be it. This could be it. Okay, Dudvis is on the launch pan, ready to go. Come on, Dudvis. Now the science, something about, I don't know, about doing the science, something or other, it says do science or something. No, that's not working, okay. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, lift off. I must remember these controls. I think I have them. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Hold. Well done. Okay. Hold. Hold. Oh, I think we're okay, you know. I think we're okay. Come on, dude, this. We're flying. Next stage, brilliant. Oh no, that's not good. No, that's not good. No, do this. No, do this. Up. No, do this. What is going on? Oh. Still going up, 18,000. I think we're gonna do our next stage in a minute. I'm gonna go at 20,000. I think someone said about checking this. Oh, that's not okay. That's not good at the moment. Okay. Oh. Ah. Oh. That's the thing. I don't know how to throttle the fuel. Okay. Let's hope Dudvis is alright. Okay. Dudvis survives. But that was not a success. 0 0.1 science. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Divis is all set. Three, two, one, lift off. I think I've figured out the throttle as well on the uh, liquid fuel, I think it's Z. Okay. Are you joking? That's all the liquid fuel I had? That's it? No, 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 no. Well, that is a colossal disappointment. I had no liquid fuel. Oh dear. Okay, someone said about upgrading the launch pad. 50,000. 50,000, we've only got 13. Oh, there must be a way to get a loan or something. Must be a way to get a loan. Okay, so the mission now is to try and get some money to upgrade. Apparently, if we do a crew report, apparently that is what we do. It is. We've done it and we've got the science points. And now that means that we can upgrade our stability, which gives us a radial decoupler, an aerodynamic nose cone. Okay, is that gonna help us really? I don't know. General rocketry might be better, but the point is now, how do we do this one? Let's have a look. Okay, so we're gonna try this one here, which is the Focus Atmospheric Survey, where I've got to take pressure readings 
over 16,600 meters. Now I've got the I've got the barometer on there. So is that what I use? I don't know. We'll have a go. Over 16,600. Next stage. Better. No, don't go all funny on me. Four. Okay, we're at 16,000. Log pressure data. Has that worked? Who knows? And splash down. Well done, Olsi. Have I done it? Have I completed the mission? I have. I haven't. I have? No. I sort of have. I didn't get the money. So I couldn't have done. It was in the wrong position. Near site T1262. I don't know what that site is. Where is site T1? Oh no, what happened there? Oh, take a crew report in flight above near 1CPD. But how do I know where that is? So it's there then, is it? That's what they're saying. So that means I need to go inland. Okay, we can do that. And then above 17,000. Right. Let's do that. Above 17,000 and a crew report. Let's go. I need to get this launch pad upgraded so I can get massive rockets on the launch pad and get up into space. Here we go. Three into orbit. Three, two, one. And I've got to remember which way I'm going to go here. Lift off. Okay, we're over 17,700. That's going to take me near it, hopefully. Crew report. I am near it. I am near it, so crew report, override crew report. Please tell me that's it. Now we've got to get back down and see if that has worked. No! Why did we not get, I was right near it. Now I've got nothing, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm, on, I'm out of money, but I can get the general rocketry science. All right, let's try that. Let's try that. We'll do. We'll test this thumper. We want you to test the thumper solid fuel bucket at the launch site. To perform the test, activate the part through the staging sequence when all conditions are met. Okay, I looked it up. Apparently, I need to empty all the fuel. Uh, like that. Go to launch. Right click it and rust, run test. Apparently. Is that it? Have I done it? It actually worked. Something I did worked. But I still haven't got enough money. Observational survey isn't going to work because I can't do it. The test ones. The test the radial decoupler at the launch site. Okay, I think I know if I'm going to do the same thing. How to do that. Okay. So I need to test this radial decoupler. So we put a pod out like that. We get one of these like that. We get the radial decoupler and put it on like that, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if this does something. Okay. Did that work, the radial decoupler, was it? Who knows? I should have. Oh, it did work. It did work. Right. Okay. Now. I've got no more flipping tests. What's this one? Whoa. I haven't even got the right. Parachute. Have Mark II our uh, radial mount parachute. Between two and, and 9,000 meters if i can do this one i'll have enough money to upgrade the pad okay i've looked this up i'm going to accept this one i think i know what to do and then we've got a real chance so new so we're going to test uh the shoot i want is this one here 
I'm also going to do see if I can get some other science out of it with the goo log temperature okay fly fly perfect 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 keep going keep going I got the speed didn't I yeah I did I've got it and then we just open the chutes I think we've done it all see I think we have done it okay there's the splash town let's recover the vessel and hope for the best and if we've got more than 50,000 we can upgrade our launch pad yes we can upgrade it's left me with 383 but now that means we can have a larger vessel. So, the Flat Destroyer 10 is born. Flat Destroyer 10 is born. Come on. This is the one, the Flat Destroyer 10. I've got no money to build it. No. Right, it needs to be a high advance. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I don't know if I should have done that. The Flat Destroyer 10 is ready. And we can launch. Oh my word, this could be it. Don't crash and die. This could be it. This could, look at it. What a beauty it is. Olsi is ready. The experienced uh, astronaut Olsi. Three, two, one, lift off. Oh, it's a heavy beast. It's a heavy beast. And it's an exceptional start. It is an exceptional start. Come on the Flat Destroyer 10. And next stage. Hold. Come on. Come on, OC. The whole of Kerbal is with you. Final stage. Can Aussie do it? Oh no! It was so close. Look. So close. I think we can do that. I think we can do that. <sighs> well, as Aussie uh, splashes down, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching for another episode, another Saturday session. I really feel like next time is the time we're going to hit orbit. I might even have a little play in the meantime just to make sure we're all good for that. I think the best thing to do is employ another pilot. But for now, we're done for another one. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.